In this video, we present the technique of stent-supported coil embolization for a secular aneurysm of the right renal artery. Ultrasound-guided right common femoral access was obtained with a micropuncture kit, then a 6 French sheet was introduced. A C2 catheter and a hydrophilic guide wire were used to cannulate the right renal artery. Right renal cannulation was confirmed with an angiogram. Next, we performed a comb beam CT angiogram to be used for fusion image guided navigation. A 3D angiographic image was reconstructed and the inflow and outflow vessels of the aneurysm were identified. The orifice of each vessel was marked with a colored ring. The patient was systematically heparinized. At this point, we exchanged our wire to a Rosen guide wire and upsized the sheet to an 8 French 45 cm sheet, which we parked in the right renal artery. In a body fashion, a soft glide wire and a burn catheter were used to traverse the aneurysm and catheterize the distal aspect of the right renal artery. The glide wire was exchanged for a Rosen wire and the 5 by 39 mm VBX stent was loaded and placed within the right renal artery through the aneurysm in order to exclude the aneurysm but was not yet opened. Next, we deployed multiple coils in the aneurysm sac using a prograde microcatheter. We began by deploying framing coils, followed by CX coils and finally hydropacking coils in order to fully embolize the sac. The superior polar branch originating from the aneurysm was coil embolized as well. A repeat angiogram was used to position our stent across the aneurysm and then the stent was deployed. Additional balloon angioplasty within the stent was performed with a 6 by 20 mm balloon to reach a tighter seal. Completion angiogram demonstrated a patent right renal artery with a successfully embolized aneurysm with maintained flow to the majority of the kidney except the expected absent flow to the superior pole. At this point, our wires and catheters were removed, heparin was reversed and the 8 French sheet access site was closed with one proglide device over a Benson wire. Pressure was held for hemostasis without concerns. Control labs showed no decrease in kidney function and the patient was discharged on the first postoperative day.